right then, implementing the face recognition system. Now, the first thing we need to do is have a look at the requirements of the system, that is, what exactly are the jobs that the system is going to do. The that is, what is our code going to do? And I call it system analysis. So, because we are going to analyze what are the different parts of the system, that is, the different components of the system, and what will be their functionality. So, let's begin by having a look at what are the parts that we have covered so far and what still need to be covered. Okay, so far in the previous levels, we have covered image acquisition, which gets the input image, and the uh, the way it gets an image was by two options. By one was to browse an image to some folder on your computer. The other was to take a live image from the web camera that is attached to your system. Okay, now the phase detector takes this image taken by this image acquisition module or component, and detects faces from it using the Viola Jones algorithm. Now, once it has detected the faces, it locates and marks them, and then, if need be, it extracts them. So this was the part that we have covered so far. Moving on to the next part. So we know that for face recognition, we need, first of all, a database of faces. This database of faces is actually going to be holding a training set. The training set is simply a set of the faces, the faces of people that you want to recognize an unknown face against. So in any face recognition algorithm, you first need to have a collection of faces. So naturally, the other bigger part is going to be the face recognizer component, which is going to recognize an input face. The functionality of this component, what it's going to be, we'll have a look at it just in, in a minute. But before we move on to just implement all these components, we are still missing something. By now, you should have asked yourself, where do the faces come from that we are going to keep in this faces database? For example, if I have to mark the attendance of the employees of an office, uh, how am I? where will their faces come from? Am I going to have to collect them beforehand before I start implementing the system? Or will I be using some uh, set of faces online? For example, the Yale database or whatever databases that are available on, on the net, uh, could I, can I use those to recognize a person in my office? So the answer to that simple is, no, you cannot actually use the faces on, available online. Why? Because those are the faces of people who are not the employees in your office. Uh, in, in other words, I, it means that you need to collect the faces of the people in your office, the employees in your office. So yes, before you can actually implement the system, you first need to collect the faces of the people, the, uh, the employees you're making the system for, the recognition system for. So that, so if we need to collect the faces, naturally we will need to take the image, take out the faces, extract those faces, and then add some label or name to it and then add them to the database, update the names and stuff like that. We will have to do a lot of job with the trainings and managing the trainings. And so that means we need some component that is going to do this job for us, right? To maintain the training set. So let's just call it a training set manager. I say that the training set manager is that exact component that is going to help me make and maintain a training set, a faces database. So it makes sense that we, before we have a look at the functionality of the face recognizer, we have a look at the uh, functionality of the training set manager. That is, before the part that needs to be done before recognition, that would be to create and manage a training set of faces. Okay, so in any case, one and very important job of the training set manager would be to be able to connect to the faces database. Okay, now. The next important part will be the job of creating a training set, right? So for creation of a training set or simply updating a training set by adding more faces to it, we need to do the following jobs. One, the training set manager needs to use the image acquisition component and get the input image. Once it has the input image, 
it is going to use, the training click manager is going to use the face detector and have those de faces detected, the faces that it wants to collect from the image and then have the extracted faces from the face detector. Now once the faces have been extracted from the image, the training set manager must be able to add faces with labels to the training set. Now these labels could be, you can say that it is the ID of a face. For example, uh, John Simon, the name of a person, or John ST00 with a code. It could be anything, it depends on your, t your logic. Okay, so this was the part of creating a training set or adding more faces to your already created training set. The other job that needs to be done by the training set manager is going to be load the training set to display already present faces in the faces database. So for example, you had already created a training set in the faces database. The next thing what you need to do is you need to be able to see what faces are already present because some faces you might not uh, you might want to update those faces you know you might have, you might want to change their names or just delete a face altogether oh so that means that the training set manager also needs to do two more things one would be to delete a face from the training set because now it is able to see what's already present in the training set and also update a face name in the training set that is update a face in the training set. Right, so that's good enough for our training set manager. Fine, uh, this is enough jobs. Next, we need to know what face recognizer is supposed to do in all this system. So face recognizer is not just going to simply recognize the faces. Of course, there is going to be some tidbits, some little tiny jobs as well that are needed to be done so that it can actually recognize a face. What are those? Naturally, the important part is the important job is one to connect to the faces database. Definitely, it needs to read the database in order to compare the input face with, right? So, one job would be to connect to the faces database just like the training set manager. The other job would be to naturally load the training set, load it for rec training the recognizer. So, the other important job is going to be train the recognizer on the training set. Okay, so that was one job. Now, this job, the next job, that is show the calculated eigenfaces plus the average image. Now, do remember, one. I just want to remind you that we are analyzing the system for implementing PCA eigenfaces method of face recognition, which is definitely based on eigenfaces. And this job that I have right now highlighted is only needed for learning purpose or for comparison result gauging your results or learning from it. This is not a necessary step you have to do in implementing a face recognition system but it is always good if you can just uh, if you have your results visible. So that is why I am definitely going to implement this. Okay so just like the training set manager, face recognizer is also going to have to use an image acquisition uh, component to get the input image. And then, once it has the input image that it needs to recognize a face from, it is going to use the face detector to have the faces detected and get the extracted faces, the faces that have been detected now. And one by one, it is going to recognize these detected faces against the trained data that what we did earlier or that we do at some point uh, in our face recognition system. And then once it has found a match, it is going to just display the results. So this was our overall analysis of the system of face for implementing the face recognition system. If you have some good, better ideas or you want to skip out something, you might want, you definitely go for it, try it. And this was the fundamental requirements. These were the fundamental requirements for the face recognition system that so far I have uh, found out. And I think it will be beneficial if you implement these. So.